once again I wish I, I hope I thank you well now in this illustration we want to show how to transfer these figures to the income statement after calculating uh, or preparing a provision for doubtful debt account you need or maybe the examiner at times can ask you to transfer these values indicated income statement to the actual income statement how do we do it because you can see some are like this on the debit others are on the credit of the provision for doubtful debt as you can see these ones which are on the credit side of the provision for doubtful debt they are showing that these are expenses when they go to the income statement and those which are on the left side or the debit side these are high incomes because there was a decrease in provision for doubtful debt so in 2015 the first entry will be like this so you have your 2015 right cross profit first right which we are not given anyway we will substitute it with a uh, some x's right so uh, if we don't have other incomes we go straight to less um, operating expenses So this is a subtitle, operating expenses is a side subtitle which we can underline and then below that we then show this first entry in 2015, this one, right. So in this case we have credited the provision for doubtful debt, we are coming here to debit here. So by saying less we are actually debiting the provision, the income statement. So provision so others to be specific they show that this is an increase so that it becomes more clear this increase in provision for doubtful debt is actually an expense to the people so it comes um, if it is the only expense you subtract it in the last column but normally we know that other expenses do come and we are aggregating with other expenses so you just indicate in this column as 165 it's okay that way now we go to the next year which is 2016 we follow the same procedure we have our gross profit as usual Then, because still we are increasing, as you can see, we increased here by 21. So the increase of 21 is the expense we are going to charge to the income statement. So this is an increase of. 21 that will be the expense the expense is 21 not 186 186 is the new provision that we wanted but we had to increase from something that we already had which is 165 so the increase is the expense right. so again our gross profit will be represented by x's then in the final year that's 2017 you still have your gross profit so immediately after the gross profits you have to add what are known as other incomes mm -hmm. so this is also a subheading so you can underline it to show that it is a subheading so under this uh, other incomes you show that there is a decrease. This time we are decreasing the provision. So 
So the decrease here normally causes straight to where gross profit is to be added here together with gross profit. And the, the, the decrease, as you can see here, it's 51. That was the decrease because we were at 186. So we wanted to go to 185. We decreased by 51. So the decrease here is 51. Okay. So once you are able to do like this, um, then you are done. That's what the examiner is looking for. Right? So for each year, it's done per year, on a year by year basis. I hope this has helped you uh, to do the next activity. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Just click the subscription button below.